Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. So Valorant was running fine on our budget PC build. However, I want to find out how much of a difference will make if we overclock the GPU and the CPU. That's what we're going to be doing in this video, so stick around. Since I'm new to overclocking, I went and searched for other people that were able to overclock with this particular CPU and motherboard combination so I don't have to repeat their mistakes. I came across a YouTube video that I can't remember the channel name, but I just copied the settings that he had in his BIOS. By doing so, I was able to boost the CPU clock speed from 3GHz to 3.4GHz. Whenever I try to get higher than 3.4GHz, the system won't boot so I just settled for what we already have with the fear of damaging any components. Moving on to the benchmarks, I fired up Cinebench to see how it'll do. I also tried to do small increments before going up to 3.4GHz just to be safe. Looking at each result, they had very noticeable differences but in the end, what matters is how it will perform while we're playing some games. As for the GPU, the max clock speeds that I've seen are different among manufacturers. However, almost all of them are around 800MHz. But again, for this specific build, I'm not aware of the manufacturer of the graphics card, Rex Technology. So to be safe, what I did was I just incremented the clock speed of the GPU bit by bit until I hit 800MHz. For this video, I'll just be doing benchmarks with Valorant since that's really the game that's intended for this build. Some games do behave differently, so results may vary depending on the type of game you're playing. Running on stock speeds and high in-game graphics settings, this build was able to get an average FPS of 72 in 1080p and 83 in 720p. After overclocking the CPU and GPU, the FPS went up to 91 in 1080p, having an increase of 19. Strangely, in 720p it only went up by 1 FPS, but the 1% low did improve. Not really quite sure what the deal was, but both are very playable and it's free performance increase after all. The temperatures of both CPU and GPU weren't reaching 80 degrees above while playing so it's safe to say that doing this overclock is perfectly fine. Even though the motherboard that I got isn't really made for overclocking, it's good to know that we could do mild overclocks with it. I was able to search the forums and basically they said that this particular motherboard really suck. So yeah, I'm not really an expert when it comes to overclocking. Well, not yet. But overclocking is something that I never really knew I'd get myself into because coming into PC building, I really had the impression of I'll be just doing like, you know, building, well, building a PC, only dealing with hardware, but trying out overclocking, it really is something that has piqued my interest and I'm gonna do more research about it just to expand my knowledge about overclocking and yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting. Leave a like if you did, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys on the next video.